Boom. All right. So I'm going to be talking about the one meal a day diet. Or is it a diet? And what's the benefits, the pros and cons of utilizing this type of a diet? So OMAD stands for a one meal a day. So why do people participate or utilize this diet? For several things. For one, to improve their health. For two, to, um, you know, break their bad eating habits so they could stay on track and strive for healthy things, you know, um, healthy eating habits, striving for healthy, nutritious foods, and so so on, right? And for three, they think it's the wonder of all diets, meaning it will improve their health, it's the best and effective diet to go about, and it will do everything what other diets do. So essentially, like the OMAD is like the, the king of all king diets, essentially, right? That's what some people see it as, some people see it as other things, just it's just depending on your perspective and and how you go about this, okay? So are you going about it for weight loss? Or are you going about it to improve your health or both or whatever the case might be? So, yeah, that's that. <clears throat> and let me explain the OMAD diet to you people. So the OMAD or one meal a day only is being utilized in the afternoon or evening or right before bed i wouldn't say right in the morning because then you got the whole day without food so if you were to eat about in the afternoon slash evening time right so you have the whole morning and the afternoon kind of like to yourself without food so around the evening time that's when you consume your one meal a day and from that then you then essentially you know, after that, you, you go to bed and then you wake up and you repeat the process, right? So that is that. So uh, that's the one meal a day. So what usually consists within the uh, one meal a day diet? Like what type of foods? What should you be eating? What should you be striving for when it comes to one meal a day? Well, when it comes to one meal a day, it's very tedious and difficult to even reach your calorie goal because you're not consuming any calories prior, right? So with that being said, your one meal has to consist of a lot of calories and not even mentioning that. You need all of your vitamins and uh, vitamins and minerals and nutrients, right? You need a variety of everything. And we typically get that from, you know, from foods obviously, but we, we get this from throughout the day. You know, we're not consuming the same meals or the same foods throughout the day, every single day, we're consuming different types of foods, therefore we're retrieving different or variety of nutrients and so on and so forth, right? So with the one meal a day, you have to, well, in my opinion, and science, scientifically speaking and health wise, right, you should uh, have all of your nutrients within one meal, obviously, because you're doing one meal. So your meal should be consisting of all your macros, your protein, fats, and carbs, you cannot avoid or neglect any type of nutrient because if you do, you are hindering health, performance, impacting your health overall, right? Yeah, so that's it. So people will utilize this to help with weight loss, to break their bad eating habits, to reduce calories, so on and so forth. Just depends on what your goal is, right? A lot of people think like, because I'm eating unhealthy all the time and by eating one meal a day, it will improve my health. It will essentially reset the body, which it will, and I will become healthier at the end of the day, right? So all of that's true, right? It will help with weight loss. It will help, you know, reset your body to make it healthier again. It will make your body healthier. It will improve your health if you're in a bad position, if your body's very unhealthy. But for longevity, for the sustainability, for the efficiency, it's not ideal because why would you refrain from eating throughout the day and only eat once per day. It doesn't make any sense, right? Not even mentioning that, it is hard to get in all those calories <clears throat> in all in one sitting. So literally, you're gonna be sitting there eating that meal for like 30 minutes to an hour, whatever the case might be, right? Or if you're jam packing it down your stomach or whatnot, you're gonna feel sick, you're gonna feel ill, and it's not gonna go well for you, right? That's force feeding. And force feeding that excessively is not a good thing for your health and overall for the efficiency of staying healthy and whatnot right so when it comes to you know 
losing weight, losing fat, becoming healthy, staying healthy. It's all about balance, people. You need to have a balanced lifestyle. You need to have everything balanced when it comes to your diet, you know, nothing excessive, no indulging, and so on and so forth. People who utilize this OMAD diet are trying to seek something that is immediate, fast, and they want it now. You know what I mean? Because it's a drastic approach, yes, and it will um, it will show results, right? There is results with this OMAD depending on your goals. If you're, like I said, losing weight, <clears throat> the OMAD is ideal in this case, but it's not recommended because the one meal... Uh, will help reduce your calorie intake and by eating that one meal only um, you may or may not go overboard when it comes to your calorie count right so if you're if you're overweight and trying to lose weight that one meal will inhibit excess calorie intake therefore leading to weight loss over time and this is why people love the old night diet for people who are trying to improve their health they think like you know just eating one meal a day and refraining from eating all the unhealthy foods will make their body healthier more than others and that could be true that could be false at the same time because if you're just prioritizing and utilizing this OMAD then you're missing on other key factors such as throughout the day stimulating elements such as muscle protein synthesis you know so on and so forth there's so many other things and elements when it comes to everyday things you know what I mean but you shouldn't just rely on one meal right and yeah, and your body cannot utilize all those nutrients at once. So the excess nutrients, vitamins and minerals are going to be waste. So once you go to the restroom and do your thing, it's going to go to waste. So, you know, all those, let's just say your calorie goal is 3000 and you consume those 3000 calories within one sitting from the one mil right? You're not going to utilize all those 3000 calories, right? You may utilize like half of it, more or less depends. And you're not going to utilize all those nutrients that you retrieve from it. So and actually, as a consequence, you're a little bit deficient in other vitamins and minerals, because your body cannot utilize all of those nutrients all in one sitting. So it's important to have a steady flow of nutrients throughout the day on a daily basis to ensure that your body is in a proper healthy state your performance at its peak and you're not hindering anything you know what i mean so bad is that but um <clears throat> you know and that's it people so the pros are it'll help reduce your calories it will improve your health outcome but it's not ideal for the long-term use right and the cons are you're going to miss out on a lot of calories because it is hard and quite difficult to get in all those calories at once right you may be you may be deficient in vitamins and minerals because you're not retrieving all of the vitamins and minerals that comes from other food sources you know if you're not getting a variety of food within right then you're uh you're deficient in vitamins and minerals so that is that you may lose weight rapidly which will hinder your health and losing weight rapidly is not a good thing especially if it's excessive for a prolonged time. And just overall, it's not sustainable. It's not effective long-term use. It's not efficient for long-term use. It's not ideal for your health for long-term use, right? Like I said, it's all about balance, um, avoiding junk food as much as possible, and striving for healthy, nutritious foods at all times. If you just focus on nutritious foods at all times, you don't have to worry about, you know, becoming overweight or becoming obese or anything to that point right because it is hard to become obese or become overweight on healthy nutritious foods and in fact if you go about uh healthy nutrition foods it will help get rid of the toxins from within therefore helping with weight loss helping with you know making your body healthier and and stuff like that so that's it people if you guys have any questions comments concerns regarding this OMAD or anything else please leave it down below or send me a private message to my social medias Check out my OMAD one meal a day guide on my website or my blog. Uh, the article goes much more in depth regarding, you know, the the uses of the OMAD, the pros and cons, and so on and so forth. So that is that. And subscribe to stay tuned in, people. Thanks for watching.